the boat sideways and more in the more usual way because the anchor just let go and the boat was sort of started banging up against the, the bar. The last hard drive I bought was back in Samoa, uh, about 100 kilometers south of Paris. And it's about time I bought a new one because my old one is full. And the way this works is Amazon just rent a little bit of space from the local railway station. And uh, hey, Amazon lockers. That's how it works. So the trip out to the islands is about 20 minutes and it's going to take about 10 minutes to go around the island because I want to just go around the island for the hell of it. And, uh, and then we're going to come back and camp just on that um, side of the island. And then when you arrive, you want to turn off all your surplus energy consumers. And I can do this down here. That's the autopilot. And the instruments are off here. And now the boat is running exclusively on solar and batteries. Good morning. Uh, it's somewhere between 7 o'clock and 8 o'clock in the morning. And I am about... Uh, three, four kilometers south of Cannes, which is over there. The first little ferry is arriving. It's a really nice morning, very pretty. This is the island of Ile, Ile de Magritte, I believe. And this is, that's where I lost my GoPro. And about, uh, I don't know, 25, 30 kilometers that way is Nice. And I'll be back there for Christmas. We are just going to look over the back. Ah, check it out. I thought I'd lost this. It's my friendly flag, but it's the big friendly flag. And uh, it was tied up there, but it came loose. I'm going to tie it back up there. We're just gonna throttle down a bit and come in behind this little tender. Here's the tender for the big boat over there, the Norwegian Cruise Lines boat. Um, that's where we were last night. And now we're just cruising into Cannes. Super calm day, shouldn't be any problems. I was gonna give you a quick tour, but there's some construction work going on. Whenever I go to talk, hey. But this is the marina. Today I'm going to go for a little walk up that hill. I first came to Cannes in 2002 when I was doing some work with uh, a friend of mine on a film that he had here and uh, I came with my friend Natalie and we stayed just in a little town around the corner. Um, had a great time but that was <laughs> so long ago, so long ago, 20 years, jeez. I'm sure I'm a lot maturer now than I was then.
This is the big indoor market, but I got here too late. And that, boys and girls, completes today's very quick tour of the little bit of Khan immediately south of the marina, which is right there. Greetings from a slightly damp Khan. Uh, it's, it's a lovely marina, and um, we've had good weather, but today, not so much. Um, we are, it's looking a little, a little stormy over there as well. But uh, I don't mind a little bit of rain. It's a really nice place. Um, Cannes is a beautiful city. And I'm just taking this time to kind of catch up on some editing. I got behind because it's just super easy not to edit. <laughs> and also the flags, which are going quite well. Um, it, it had a really good push at the beginning and it's slacked off a little bit because I'm not pushing it quite so much but um, I need to figure out how to push it and, and stuff but uh, you know if anyone wants to share that link that friendly flag link on any other websites or uh, Facebook pages that would be great because I can't be a member of every single Facebook sailing group the boat boat is good I took it out the other day just for the hell of it that was kind of fun but other than that, um, I'm going to stay here for about another eight days, a week, eight days, I can't remember. And then I'm not quite sure where I'm going. Um, I could be anywhere. They're, the marinas are all super cheap right now. They're all, sorry. The marinas are all around the 15 to 25 euros a night rate, which is amazing. It's really good. So I'm going to use that and... <laughs> no. I really should clean the boat, but I've just been too lazy and I'm not good at cleaning. Mm, they forecast a little rain today and it is pouring down. Good morning. Uh, I'm not sure where I am. Um, oh, there you go. Uh, but it's just between Vieux Saint-Cyr and Nice. Nice is the other side of that. Probably about uh, I don't know five or six kilometers. And I'm going there today because what I want to do is work hard on the friendly flag idea. I think it's a really good idea and I keep getting this positive response from people saying I want one as soon as possible so um, but it's a lot to set up because my banking is all done in the UK through Revolut and I want to sell them in France and uh, you can imagine it's just a little bit complicated. It's not as simple. It, before Brexit, it was a little bit simpler because there's no import tax. But if I sell something from the UK and send it to France, say, then some of them will be stopped and they won't get through because they'll want there should be an import tax. Um, or is it the other way around? I don't know. I've looked into it, but it's just complicated and it used to be simple. Um, so that's what I'm going to be doing in Nice. And there's a bit of boat work to do. Uh, nothing serious, just tidying things up. And uh, I got to replace the carpet at some point, which sounds like a really big deal. And it is. I don't think it's going to get replaced at um, when I'm in Nice but I can start the process. Um, 
other than that, it's it's really beautiful here. It was a little bit scary getting, not scary, but like, um, as I was leaving the marina around the corner, um, the guy next to me goes, yeah, it's a little bit choppy out there. Holy shit, was it choppy. <laughs> the boat was all over the place. I mean, it still handles it well. You kind of just get used to it after a while, but it's like lurching from side to side. And um, there, it was the biggest, biggest waves and swell that I've been through. Um, and honestly, I, it's almost a little bit too much because everything's banging around inside the, the boat. And things were locked down, but could have been locked down a little tighter. Anyway, that's my update. Um, I don't know, I might go for a swim, we'll see. It's, you can see down there, and the sun's not really hitting it yet, but it's very clear water. Anyway, whoop. <laughs> I haven't fallen over for about, well, fallen over the side um, since Bray. And that was when I just, that was wearing socks and I slipped on the back thing and in I went. I'm probably due for a, a bath at some point. Now I'm in Nice and uh, I've built the website and I've ordered the flags. So what I'd like people to do is fly them, fly them. I'm gonna send out as many as possible and if you take a photograph of it or some video or something, I can put it on the website. Uh, I'm gonna send out like two or three maybe more um, to each person who orders one. Uh, if you have a friend that you think would want one, just give them a flag. Um, it, it will only work, oh, fishes. Uh, it'll only work if a ton of people start using these things. Uh, if there's only a couple of us, <laughs> we're just like nothing. But if a bunch of people start flying these flags, I'm gonna get as many made as possible. I'm gonna give some to marinas. I'm gonna hand out a few to friends. I, I, just whatever, it doesn't matter. Uh, it's gonna take a year or so before there's enough out there, but I think this will work. Uh, I don't know. I have a lot of funny ideas. Some of them work. Brand new sneakers in a fat gold chain. We do the good cocaine And we don't feel no pain No, we don't complain 